Welcome back. This is my second video. In the first video, Caroline showed you around my living room and my setup for my house bunnies. Now, this is Stomper, close up. Um, last time I think he was uh, in the video but hopping around Caroline's feet while she was showing you a lot around. And I just wanted to show you a video of my latest addition. Now, my latest addition is some cat stackable cardboard boxes from Pet Planet. I'm trying to show you all of them. Basically you get six boxes and one tube and um, they've got holes on all sides so if you want to stop your rabbit falling through some of the holes you may have to put some cardboard in like I have um, but mo pretty much they can go from any box uh, one to the other. Great for rabbits that like to chew cardboard and great for rabbits that like to explore and get up into high places. Now personally I don't want my rabbits um, climbing right on top of it all because I know my cheeky monkeys and I know that they'd be straight up into the treats and everything else that I keep on top of my shelf, my windowsill. So I've put this piece of cardboard on top which will stop them going through the top holes and getting out and uh, exploring places they shouldn't be. But it still leaves them with five different compartments um, at the back, three plain cardboard, two coloured. I've put the coloured up high because I'm hoping they won't chew that as much. Um, and then I've got the plain grey one at, at the front and there's a little small cardboard tunnel which I've kind of used to join those two together. I've put a set of wooden planks over the top so that they don't fall down the hole between the uh, tunnel and the litter tray. So this will give them a nice little platform to sort of go between the uh, lovely hay uh, in the feeder and everywhere else basically. Um, so they've got two ways of getting to the litter tray now. They've got this little wooden bridge or they've got that hole down the side that gives them into the litter, litter tray with all the haze surrounding them and the ready grass bowl. I've also added this little, because uh, there's a hole under here for the rabbits to explore um, which also has two holes for them to climb in. It would have three but I kind of put cardboard in the bottom so that they uh, wouldn't fall through. I put this little platform here which actually gives Zebra and Stomper a nice little way of getting into the middle compartment. Um, Zebra's already used it, I haven't seen Stomper use it yet but to be fair I've seen Stomper go through the middle one at the bottom into the middle anyway. Um, I've also moved around some of the stuff on the left so before I had a box and one of those little stools. By the way, the stools I got from the range, only £5 each. Um, they all seem to be they're in the pet section. Absolutely fantastic value. Um, and all oh, the whole pet planet stackable cat stackable boxes were £44.99, now £15 at the moment. I'm not sure whether that's just a sale price or whether they're getting rid of them, so I bought two lots. They're quite big, they're 45 centimetres or so, um, so plenty of room for medium sized rabbits. My rabbits are 2.2 kilo, so um, they're fine for that sized rabbit. So my, my other addition that I bought recently are these wonderful little cabins that you can get from pets at home. They're 12 99 each and I think they're made of some kind of straw or something. Um, my rabbits absolutely love chewing them. Um, I've bought three in total because the first one they've pretty much decimated, which is why it's in a litter tray with some hair, it's sort of straw in the bottom, um, because there wasn't much left at the bottom of it and I wanted it to hold together and last a few more weeks and maybe even months. Um, so we've now got the banana box for them to go in and they can go through there and then into the um, straw hut as such. And then they can go across there into all the boxes and then into the litter tray. I've also made some changes to my dog crate. As Caroline showed you last time, I normally fill it with boxes, so they've got plenty of lots of levels and hidey holes. So what I've done is changed it around a bit after her last video. It made me sort of think about the fact that they could fall off the shelf, etc. So I've done a little bit of redesigning, and inside, you'll see I now have some more um, sort of wire caging as such inside, just around the edges, just so they can't go down and fall down. Um, now you can't actually see through that at the moment because there's actually a tunnel. Now the tunnel that was previously over here um, that Caroline said was basically two um, garden bags with a hole made at each end so that it made into a tunnel, 99p each. So for a whole £2 big tunnel is now in the back of my dog crate so they can, hopefully you can see just the edge of it there, they can now go um, up this cat scratcher that makes a wonderful bridge um, a wonderful, it's a, up into here and then they can go 
through this tunnel again you might not be able to see because it's quite dark um but they can basically go well you can't see through there and at the other end they have another one of those straw houses to destroy so far stomp has only been up there zebra hasn't really been up there yet um that i've seen she could have been up when i'm not around um but i'm not aware of that obviously in the bottom because i don't want the um tunnel at the I, because i don't want it to be too steep for them to be able to get up and down i've actually had one end put onto one of those wooden um, tunnels, the bindi bridges or whatever they're called, and then also a hay tunnel and kind of clipped it on. My rabbits don't seem to chew plastic very often, so um, the, I seem to use clips everywhere and they're absolutely fine. Uh, now they've got a gap at the back where they can explore. They've got two tunnels, a gap at the front, bendy tunnel as usual, um, just on the entrance. And I don't know how well it came out in the video last time, so I just wanted to show you my little um, bridges that I've used. These are for small animals and I've got one at either end um, of what is effectively uh, it's the area that they leave free to put dog bowls through for water and food but my rabbits even though you can see it's such a small gap they love squeezing through these gaps um, but because I was worried about them catching a foot and breaking a leg I've put these little wooden um, bridges across which kind of stops them catching any legs on the bottom part. Um, and I've actually cable tied them down so that they can't get them off although sometimes they do enjoy chewing cable ties so I have to replace them every so often um, I think that's pretty much it that's all the changes I've made to this side of the room um, yeah so hopefully this gives you some ideas about what you can do with your rabbits um, obviously you need to keep cardboard dry otherwise it pretty much gets destroyed so the only people that can really use this is people that have either got a dry um, large enclosure because they're pretty big boxes or inside um, as house rabbits if they've got their own room or whatever I'm a crazy rabbit lady so I have them in my living room but I guess uh, I'm one of the few crazy rabbit ladies and I hope you all have a wonderful day